Here we go. Toonie the tiger. Yay! Look at him, he's such a cutie. Look at that, look at that smile. Thank you, Clarabelle. I appreciate it. How's it going, Toons of the World? It is your pal, Mega Snoop, bring you another Toonie Let's Play video thing. All right, let's see what's in my catalog today. Oh, looky that, we, we got the genuine flippy shirts. It's so genuine. We have to buy it. We just because it's so genuine flippy, y'all. I don't. I don't even know what accent that was. Don't ask me. But I'm sure some of you may have been wondering where has Toonie been? He's been around. He got lost. I took him to the grocery store, and we were in the dairy aisle, and I told him to not move while I ran and got some power bars from aisle eight. And when I went back to the dairy aisle, he was gone. I don't know what to say. Honestly, though, the last Toonie the Tiger episode was, like, a month ago. And I missed Christmas. And I missed New Year's. And I missed a lot of stuff. And I'm sorry, guys. I'm really not sorry. I mean, how sorry can I be about uploading Toontown YouTube videos? Number one, it's YouTube. Number two... It's Toontown. I like making YouTube videos. It's a fun hobby, but it's not an obligation. I feel like I could do a whole rant about this, but I don't want to. So instead, I'm just going to explain why I haven't been doing my hobby lately. There's a simple reason for that. Hobbies are things we do in our spare time. So me making Toontown YouTube videos and live streaming is something I do in my spare time. Over the past month, I have not had spare time. Cause you see, my girlfriend, who came to visit from Tennessee, was here for a whole month. And so I spent a lot more of that time spending time with her than I did, you know, live streaming and making videos. And I preferred it that way because I wanted to make sure more of my attention was on her. And I don't think she would have liked it very much if I was sitting here going, How's it going, dudes? The world is your pal, Mega Snoop. And she's just sitting in the back looking at me strangely like, like, why, why, why do you do this? Why? Why? And then the thing was that even while she was here, there was no days that her and I were doing nothing, you know? I like my lazy days. I haven't had a lazy day in a long time, though, honestly. There hasn't been a single day in the past, like, 30 days where I haven't left my apartment. Why do I have five flower pots? I should also explain why Toonie's gags look this way. On the last Toonie the Tiger episode, I received a comment about how Toonie's gags weren't great. And I know they're not great. Most people would be insulted, like, oh, how dare you say something about my Toon's gags. <laughs> but you know, they were right. Toonie's gags were terrible for being in Daisy's Garden. So you know what I did? I ended up doing a live stream where I just trained Toonie the Tiger's gags for like an hour and a half. And it was great. A lot of people showed up to that and they watched. I think I had like 90 people at one point. It was a lot of fun. And I have that recording saved. So if you guys want to see that, if you missed the live stream, I could upload it to YouTube as like a episode 12 and a half. That's if you want to see it. So right now, if you missed it and you want to see Toonie the Tiger train his gags or whatever, I mean, he didn't do anything, he just trained his gags. Let me know in the comments section and if I get enough people who say, yeah, I want to see that, I'll upload it to YouTube and you guys can watch it. So that's what I did. I, I streamed like twice while my girlfriend was here. And one of them was to train Toonie's gags. So now that she's gone, I, I'll probably be streaming a lot more. So if you guys want to be on the lookout for that, hopefully I'll be doing that more. I need a glad hander now. That's right, that's right. Come here, man. Come here, Mr. Guy Smiley. Speaking of live streaming, though, I want to give another, another shout out to Gag Strategist. Because, I mean, how many times have I given him shout outs? Hi, you. In a couple of my earlier videos, in the CFO and the Mints, he did those videos before I did. And so I gave him a shout out for that. And then, something that just happened recently, which I'm, you know, super duper proud of him for that, is that he got a sub button on Twitch, which, it, he's the first Toontown live streamer to do that, and, you know, congratulations, man, I love you very much. And I may or may not have predicted this back, like, months ago, back when I couldn't pronounce his name. Once at least one person in the streams Toontown gets a sub button, Toontown will be, uh, truly recognized. Uh, if anybody, it's probably gonna be... Gag strategists. If I had to take a guess, it'll either be gag strategists or scars. I call them flipping gag strategists. Gag strategists. It's like I want to go back in time and punch myself. Also, my hair was really long and it looked really dumb and I didn't like it. There's so much about past me. I wish I could just punch him. It's nice to have company. This mouse is a cool dude. He's helping me out and I'm helping him out. We're gonna be friends, I can tell. So anyway, I've had a lot of people 
for a long while urge me to try to get a sub button and I'm just gonna let you know that now that that's not really gonna happen because of the fact that I just don't stream enough even if I wanted to I'd have to devote all the time that I'm not working to streaming and I have other hobbies I want to do like I make videos and I watch Netflix and I sleep sometimes I don't have time to try to stream every other day like come on guys I'll look into it in the future if I do see myself streaming more often but I just don't see myself streaming more often but again going back to gag strategist I don't know how he doesn't have more subscribers on YouTube and, and stuff like that you guys should sub to him so said so and I'll give you a piece of candy maybe no don't hold me to that I can't make promises I have no money I'm so poor honestly I haven't made a video in forever there's so much I want to talk about I'm poor like if I had made this like a week and a half ago I probably would have talked about the Powerball and how it was at like 1.5 billion dollars how everyone was freaking out about it and how everyone was gonna buy hookers and blackjack how everyone was gonna spend it on like fancy cars and popcorn at the movie theater you know it was actually really funny I was watching a newscast where one of the television reporters was going up to the line and talking to people who were like filling in the bubbles for their numbers, right? And she's like, you sir, which numbers are you choosing? He's like, oh, I got this one, this one, and that one. Excuse my southern accent right there. But he's, he's sitting there filling the bubbles. She's like, well, sir, what do you plan on doing if you win? And he turns around, he looks at her, he goes, I'm going to get hookers and cocaine. <laughs> It was on live TV. It was so great. So you know me and my friends, we probably spend it all on blackjack for a chance to double it. We're, we're idiots. But knowing my friend Brian, he probably would have spent it all on CSGO case openings. He's addicted to trying to find a knife. I think he found one once, and now he just continues to do it forever just because. He has high hopes though. See, at this point on, I should really start training my throw because once I get to uh, minis, I need that full cream pie for that task, you know? And I'm just not doing that. <laughs> like, whoops! Hopefully I get this uh, sprocket here, though. Please, please, please. Yay! Going back to it again, though, now that, you know, my girlfriend is back where... I was gonna say back where she belongs. That doesn't sound right, I'm sorry. That's terrible. Now that my girlfriend is back home, I should be making more videos and doing more live streams. So you guys should see me a little bit more often. So I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys are too. But at the same time, if you don't watch, it's not. I'm, I'm not gonna cry, I hope, probably. I promise you I won't cry. Holy jeez, this guy just... I'm looking through my YouTube replies and this guy goes on one video and legit like replies to every single person's comment. Like I'm not even kidding. It's all just him replying to everybody's comment. Guy's passionate, I'll give him that. Wait, where am I going? Where am I going? I'm so disoriented. I'm sorry, I'm just a little flustered today, guys. And I'll explain why that as well. So besides my girlfriend leaving me. Physically, not like emotionally. She didn't, she, we're not broken up. What happened today was I watched the Green Bay Packers play. I know, I like the shirt too. And if you're not a Green Bay fan, that's okay. You like whichever team you like, and if you don't even like football, that's cool. You do you, and if you prefer it to be called like hand egg, because real football is soccer, which is what the, you know, whatever. I get it, guys. I'm not saying you gotta like it, but I was watching the Green Bay game today, and if any of you guys were watching Green Bay versus the Cardinals you would see that Green Bay was behind and they were ahead and then they were behind and then there was zero seconds on the clock as they just chucked up a Hail Mary please God let him catch it throw and he caught it he, he legit caught it I, I think what's even more amazing is that the guy who caught it was like the secondary wide receiver that never played because he's a backup and the funny thing is his name is Jeff Janis he's actually a friend of my friend a friend of mine went to high school with him and so he actually personally knows the guy and so I've always just kind of been a fan of like I hope Jeff Janis catches a, a pass this game you know like or, or does something good and see that he he scored one touchdown earlier in the game and then he scored that zero time left touchdown to tie the game so I'm not I don't know I'm not gonna do this no go away Way, you little runt, you sickly, cold, cold piss caller. I'm just gonna run. Oh. Oh. Okay then. Just gotta find another moving shaker, hopefully. 
Hey, there's one right on schedule. Hey, there's another one! <laughs> Maybe if I spam help, people will help me. Thanks, you. He'll get better at his English, I promise. I'm trying to think of what else I can talk about, but I, I literally just spewed everything in like the first 20 minutes of recording. Usually I'm better than this. I usually like string it out over the course of the tasks I'm doing. That way I can make it longer and make it so more things happen in the episode while I'm trying to talk about the things I talk about. I got really bad at doing this. I guess that's what you get for not having a lot of practice, you know? Hey, two point laugh boost. Let's go. Oh, it's my girlfriend. She says, Congrats on 1600 followers on Twitter. Thank you, Lana. I guess while I'm at it, thanks for 1600 followers on Twitter. I don't. Oh, now my dad's calling me. Hold up. Yellow? Really? Like in post season? <laughs> Sorry, just had to talk to my dad. We were talking about football stuff. Yeah, no. Oh, I can carry 35 gags now. I forgot how not hard these tasks were. This, these look so identical, but I know one is so much easier than the other. Like, honestly. Let's, we'll also see what Uncle Mud wants. Uncle Mud. Anything like Uncle Bud? I feel like everybody's got that one Uncle Bud, you know? Or if not an uncle, a great uncle, you know? Great Uncle Bud. And he's got that kind of raspy voice and he was in nam oh so more sell about hq stuff literally this all these tasks are almost like the same come on toontown i'm just gonna deliver the 10 squirting flowers now though i feel like that's just an easy thing get it out of the way easy peasy pudding and pie oh yeah i was talking about twitter before i went on my rant again and my dad called me are you mega snoop sure why not man I can be Mega Snoop if, if you want me to, man. If I ever see him again, I'll be like, find out on the next Toonie the Tiger! Next time on Toonie the Tiger, Toonie the Tiger comes to a hardship when his friend Toon Can Sam needs his help. Why has no one made Toon Can Sam yet? Like, come on, guys. Let's get on there. You guys are imagining of young beans with a abnormal talent for puns. I need to... I'm gonna get rid of these flower pots. I'm never, ever, ever gonna use them. Oh, it's a cog building. Oh, that's sad. I need to go shopping soon. I'm out of food. My girlfriend ate all my food. Oh, it's a building again! Now I'm even sadder. I would do that building with them. If not, I was... I'm too... I'm... I was too lazy to even finish that sentence. That's how lazy I am. Let's have it here. Thank you so much. Da, da, da. Oh, now. Oh. Oh, I see how it is. I see how it is. I give you all that love, and in return, you're just like, oh, now would you just mind doing 20. If I'm gonna do this, I might as well do it in an, like an invasion district or something. Bingo was his name. Oh, B I N G O B I N G O B I N G O. Bingo was a lame -o. So now I'm just gonna sit here and fight cogs, which is probably the most boring thing I could do. But I mean, what am I supposed to talk about? And then it missed. So I don't even know what to do with my life anymore. <laughs> hey, this guy's coming to help. Thank you, random duck. Yeah! Ah! All right, that's one down, 19 more to go. Yeah. Okay, there's always that 10 postcards from the double talkers task. That, that one's kind of annoying. Do, should we do a building? Maybe? No? Okay, we'll, we'll just fight this guy then. All right. Whatever you say, man. Or, you know, just attack without me. I thought we left all our bad manners back in Toontown Central, but apparently not. No, there's some, like, rude tunes, I swear. Not these guys. I mean, like, these guys are cool. I don't, I don't... Hey, I guess that works somehow. So what's being a cat like? It's perfect. <laughs> Somebody shoot me. Oh, well, smirky curse. <laughs> Smirky's just relentless, guys. What can I say? He's a stone cold <laughs> And I love him very much. There's two more down. I now have... I lost count, I'll be honest. I just, I don't count these things. Eight! Now have eight. Oh, they're leaving me. I guess it's just me now. I can't hear them going. They're gone. Just looking through my Twitter, I see a couple things that come to my mind that I can talk about while mindlessly fighting cogs on Maple Street for whatever reason. One of them being the word anti-disestablishmentarianism, which is how I feel after my gags keep missing. No, it's not really a feeling. It 
is a reference to an act in which people were going against something. Like, you know, Google is so much better at explaining it than I am, so we'll just we'll just let Google do it. Okay, Google. Define anti-disestablishmentarianism. According to Wikipedia, anti-disestablishmentarianism is a political position that developed in 19th century Britain in opposition to liberal proposals for the disestablishment of the Church of England, meaning the removal of the Anglican Church's status as the State Church of England, Northern Ireland, and Wales. Some good stuff right there. Well, I mean, the last day that my girlfriend was here, we were bored and we couldn't sleep, so we did the obvious thing of... Learning how to say anti-disestablishmentarianism. I got her to say it like twice and then she couldn't say it anymore. And then obviously the second thing I want to talk about is the upload I did before this one. Which was tune up for what? People either really loved that video or really hated it. The biggest argument as to why people said they hated it was because it was lazy. Have you not heard the original song? The original song's pretty lazy. Hey, thanks for helping me, random cat. I appreciate you. But I mean, like, I get it. You guys saw Gag Shop and Toonstar, and then you see this. And obviously there's less in this, but that doesn't necessarily make it bad. The idea is that it was supposed to be lazy. It's a satire. The original song, Turn Down For What, is kind of a dumb song. It's got two actual lyrics and the music video, don't look up the music video, especially if you're under age. Don't look up the music video, please. If you guys end up looking up the music video, you cannot turn this on me. I do not want to get direct message from parents saying that I'm polluting the, your poor children's minds by telling them to go look up sexual music videos. It's no, no, that's not what's going to happen here because I'm saying don't do it. Don't. No. But I mean, there's a reason why I put Fat Mega Snoop in the video and why it looked like the editing was lazy and, and why the context of the video was kind of lazy because it was supposed to be dumb and stupid. That was the idea. And a lot of people caught that. And thank you for catching that, you wonderful people. I love you so much. I could kiss you. Mwah. But other people just don't get it. They're just like, this is lazy. And it wasn't lazy. Let me let me explain this, because this is something I don't I guess people don't understand. I don't know if you guys have ever edited a video before, right? I don't, maybe you have, maybe you haven't. But most people who will say that editing is lazy are people who don't really know how to edit themselves. I'm just being honest. I'm just, I'm just, I'm not trying to start any hate. Some DJ Dizzy Frog and Pop. But if you actually break down everything that was in that video, quite a bit of editing went into it as far as lining up certain things with, uh, with the beat and uh, when it's switching from one frame to another to make it line up properly. Like when you see Fat Mega Snoop running. I didn't just cut it to another scene and cut it to another scene. I lined it up so it was a whole flowing movement where it looked like he was just continuously running. That takes time and patience and, and to do it on the beat. So yes, I did put time and effort into this. It just doesn't look like it because the way I edited it made it look lazy. So in a sense, it's geniusly bad. Is that no? Okay, I tried. But it was meant to look lazy on purpose. And I put a lot of effort to make it look lazy. So in a sense, I did it correctly? I don't know, I'm not saying you have to like the video at all, but I just want to say my story about it and be like, that's what I did, that's how it happened, I promise. I liked it, my girlfriend liked it. That's all that really matters, bro. We just all go for a different one, there you go. That works. Good job, fam. Except for that guy, screw him. And my girlfriend just messaged me on Skype saying you got me really addicted to Pokemon. I got my girlfriend addicted to Pokemon, guys. I'm not even mad about it. Dude, I love Pokemon. Pokemon was my childhood. I'm gonna go on a rant about this too, so hold on to your knickers, ladies and gentlemen. How many cogs am I at though? That's gonna depend on how much of a rant this is. Two cogs. I'm sure I can do this rant in two cogs worth of battles. So anywho, when I was a wee little tyke, maybe like, I don't know, 11 years old or something like that. Okay, that's not that young, but whatever. That's around the time when Pokemon Fire Red, Leaf Green, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald were all the rage, right? Like, those were the games to have. And during that time, I, I watched the show a little bit, but I didn't really like it all that much. But it wasn't until that I went to my friend's house, and he had Fire Red, and he was in the Safari Zone trying to catch like a, a rare Pokemon or something, right? And he let me do it. He's like, hey, just keep looking around here. And if you see something by this name or this name, you let me know, right? 
And so I was like, okay, so I'll just be like running around trying to find whatever it was, you know? He was looking for a Kangaskhan, right? And we found a Taurus. And we were freaking out because those things are just rare to find. And so I threw a Safari Ball at it and it didn't catch it. But he was freaking out like, bro, do you know what you just found? Dude, that was so rare. You almost got it. That would have been so cool. And from that moment on, I was just like, wow. So I began searching for more Kangaskhans and Tauruses and Chanseys, and I just had fun running through the Safari Zone. Every time I'd go over to his house, I would just ask him if I could run around the Safari Zone and look for more rare Pokemon. He was like, yeah, sure, man, go ahead. And, I mean, he didn't mind me doing all the legwork for him. And that's where it really sparked. That's when I decided to save up money and get my own, I guess it was the DS light the ones that flip open the little square ones it was pink i ain't even mad and then it broke and then i got a blue one but i remember getting a pokemon cartridge not even like the full box because if my parents saw the full box they'd get mad because for whatever reason pokemon is the devil and they wouldn't let me play it but anyway i recall the fact that i would have to hide it from them whenever i played it and whenever whenever i had it up i couldn't show them the screen i would like purposely like make sure they couldn't see the screen you know like so, and then as time went on I progressed from the Game Boy Advanced SP to a, a, a DS and a DS Lite and I got a DS Lite then I got a 2DS so I could play X and Y and Alpha Sapphire uh, not a 3DS because I ain't that rich hun like I wish and I've got my share of level 100s and I got a couple shiny Pokemon and I don't mean to brag, maybe I'll go into some specifics if you guys want to hear about it in like another episode, but uh, I'm not going to, there's so much I could tell about my Pokemon and how much I love Pokemon, but maybe I'll tell you guys later. And again, about that uh, episode 12 and a half, that live stream I did, if you guys want to see that as well, you can, but I'm going to choose another another something here, we'll, we'll talk to Artie, well I won't talk to Artie right now, I'm going to end the episode right here. A little short, nice, sweet episode. There's a little wave from Toonie. And I'm back as well, and I'm ready to uh, do some more videos and live streams and stuff like that. So I hope you guys are ready. But thank you guys for watching. Really do appreciate you guys being here on this wonderful day. If you want, you can leave a like. It's like, I don't even care. I mean, I do care, but I don't. You know, like, that's the life of a YouTuber. You know, it's like, I'm, I care, but I'm not supposed to care. But I care a little bit. But really, no. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for being here. And I will see you guys next time. Hope y'all enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to smash that like button. It helps me know that my work is appreciated. Leave a comment and subscribe if you're new. You can check out my live stream at twitch.tv forward slash Megasnoop. Follow me on Twitter at Megasnoopttr. And I hope y'all have a toontastic day.